Okay, hi guys, and I have noticed how hard it is to get into a Minecraft.jar file and on Mac or Windows, and I figured out a way without using any applications or whatever, no hassle, by doing this. So simply go onto your Minecraft.jar. If you are on a Mac, like a very updated Mac, you will be able to go right here there'll be this go you hold option the option key and there'll be library popping up was what I just clicked you go into application support you find minecraft and this is all the minecraft files this is where everything is if you want to add in texture packs or you want to add in maps you put them into the saves file but what we need is this bin file what you get is this minecraft.jar now you can drag that out and you'll get this now once you get this, if you want access to files to be able to put on a mod or whatever you want, you want to change that Minecraft but dot, and it'll say dot jar. You just rewrite that as a dot zip. It, this will pop up, so you just you say use zip. So once you do that dot zip, it'll become that type of file. Now you just double click on it. It'll load up, and you will get a file that has all of the Minecrafts everything you want. It won't be Minecraft 2, it'll actually be Minecraft, I just have that already there. So you open this up. Now it's gonna look crazy with all these files. This is how Minecraft actually works. Once you're in here, this is all of Minecraft, and you can get your Minecraft mod. What you do is, you um, basically just switch some files around. You can go to another video to see that. But this is how to get into your Minecraft.jar files on a Mac and I'm sure the same thing will work on, on Windows. Also I forgot to edit in this part. To put your Minecraft file back into Minecraft, you will right click on it and what you do is is you can compress it back into a zip. Then you then you um, rename it and if you hold and then you click again to click use dot jar and it will become a dot jar. You just drag that into your bin folder and there you have it. You've got your mod if you change the files by the way. So yeah, that's just how you've done it once you're done changing all the files. So I hope this was very helpful and I hope it was worth your three minutes of your time. Um, thanks for watching and please check out some of my other videos.